All right, let's stop. Here we go. We're going to go to the Bulldogs, and we are going to go to a guy named their captain, Marcus Bonten Pally. Let's go to him. Um, let's see. Here we go. He's got a quarter length. Let's go about 10, uh, 10 minutes. Why not? Let's go prospect because that's pretty much the only thing that's actually good. Lighter position last year was 14th. So that was interesting. Uh, so let's go to, let's go to tackle. Why not? And let's go. So he's 24 years old. So he's got about 16 years apparently into this. So it's going to be a lot of fun just simulating all the time. But anyways, let's see how the doggies go with Marcus Bonson Pally and let's see how he goes. So I'll see you at the first season. All right, let's see how we go. How did Bont go this year? Let's have a look at the doggies are 17 and 4. So they are leading. Have a look at the team stats. Marcus Bont and Pally is 297. Toby McLean with and Hayden Crozier with 400 each. So Toby McLean is only 24, which is pretty cool. And let's see Bont and Pally. It should add all the stats in, but I don't know if that take a long time. Okay, let's see. I wonder if he'll win the Brownlow medal. He probably won't, but doggies win, and they get it done quite comfortably, actually. So this is actually going to be a fun, fun one to make. And Tom Libertore, Aaron Norton, Toby McLean kick all the goals, and Tipper with five. Sorry about the lag, it's wild if it comes through like that. I don't know why it's happening, but here we go. We've got the bye, we win the prelim against the Tigers, against Dusty. Let's see how they go. And, wow. <laughs> um, it's about a 58-point win by the looks of it. And here we go. The, the Bulldogs are in the grand final against Carlton. I don't know how that worked, but... And Geelong... Out in straight sets, which is uh, that's actually quite realistic. Even though we actually lost by the sun to the Suns by seventy six points. Oh boy! Anyways, here we go. We're in the grand final against Carlton. Who's gonna win? And um, yeah. Okay. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but it is what it is. We made the we made the grand final, so you know it's pretty cool. So let's have a look. Let's have a goal kicking. Uh, anything else? Weak foot. Let's go weak foot. Here we go. Balak, we lost the grand final, but it's still a good effort though to make the grand final. And Jack Martin with the Brownlow medalist. <laughs> Jack Silvani the Coleman. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> So we got Richmond. Oh, we are captain, so we, I'm not switching teams just for fun. So here we go. I will see you. I actually no, I did have all the stats, but yeah. So we're one in one in grand finals. So so fifty percent strike rate. So that's pretty cool. So I'll see you at the end of the second season. What you do, what you do, what you do, I like it by you. Boo, 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 t -t -t hey, that's what I like. I like it by you. The way you do, what you do, what you do, I like it by you. I'm gone, hey, that's what I like. I like it by you. I'm gonna stop now because I don't want to get You know, I'll edit this out.
So here we are. That's good. Back to back uh minor premiers. So that's good. So let's have a look. Hayden Crozier with three hundred and ninety nine. Disposals, Aaron Norton with 397. Tom Lubach is suspended. And Marcus Bontempelli has had about 347 touches. So 17 goals, 51 for Aaron Norton. So if we go around, if we go around, so we've got a few players over. Billy Gowers, didn't he used to play for North? Uh, not North. Bulldogs, I'm pretty sure. As they get it done, Josh Dunkley with 28 disposals. So we're playing against the Magpies in the quarterfinals, it says, even though know, it should be the qualifying finals. It is here. And we get it done by a healthy margin in the end, by about 20, I would be about 32 points. So let's have a look. So we're going on to the bye. Can we make... We're playing the Tigers again. Will they get their Avengers or will we? And we get it done by eight points this time. So that's good. Traw finally gets to his second grand final. They're playing the Crows. Going to be interesting. And oh my uh, yeah, goodness. <laughs> um. I don't know how that works, but okay. We had <laughs> uh, we had more we had more hitouts than them. We had more free kicks, and we still got smashed. So <laughs> we <laughs> wow. Okay, um, I don't really know how. <laughs> I don't know how to say about that. But anyways, uh, I guess. On to the next uh, season. We don't need that. We need we need the positioning, kick power, cinema. Yep, that's interesting. We lose two grand finals in a row. So can we? Is is it the third time's a charm? And Taylor Walker finally gets his pre uh not prelim. He finally gets his grand final win. So. I'll see you at the end of the season, the season number three. So let's see how the Bulldogs went, and let's have a look at Marcus Bontempelli. So we've got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back minor premiers for the Doggies, and let's have a look to see how they go. So Marcus Bontempelli, 339 disposals. He's 26 years old, and, yeah, that's pretty good so far. Let's have a look at the... Everything else. Let's have a look at. He's had fourteen goals, and let's have a look. And you bounces ninety eight for Sam Lloyd. Let's have a look. Jackson Trengov with twenty one free kicks against him. Let's have a look. We got inside fifties. Bont with eighty one rebounds as well, and let's have a look. Contest. Marks, we got the Bont with 83 marks this year, 33 contested, 18 marks inside forward 50. And we are going to see how they go. So we are first on the ladder. We lose to Sydney, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, we still keep our spot. So that's okay. You know, you, don't have, you can't win all the games. As Carlson win, uh, we, won, we lose back-to-back -back games. So we're going to have to do it the hard way against the Saints. Hopefully no, uh, <laughs> hopefully no um, exits. So we've got two players injured, no tribunal. we got Matt Suckling with a face fracture. And Ed Richards is out for 48 weeks. Wowee. So the Doggies win. They make it into the prelim final. So let's see. Can they win? And they lose by 24 points in the end. And unfortunately, Essendon will. Do you reckon they'll win? 
Who's going to win the flag? I reckon Essendon will. And no, it's Carlton. So it'd be realistic in Jake Stringer with the Brownlow. That's on. Yeah, I don't know. Charlie Cameron with the Coleman. I could see that happening. Sam Lloyd. I can see that happening. Judd Ross. I've got no idea who you are, buddy, but you are definitely not a real player. He's definitely an ordered generated player. So we are. <laughs> so we've made the through finals deep in September slash October three times. So that's impressive. But unfortunately, we can't get over the herd, the final herd. So what we are going to do is I. It'll be interesting to see how we go. We are playing at Mars Stadium. Where are we? And we are third. So we haven't really gone down. That makes... Oh, because Hawthorne have two uh, draws. So that, that helps them. So, whoops, did not mean to go there. I'm trying to go to the ladder. So let's go to the ladder. And, oh, we've gone the fixture apparently. So let's go to the ladder and see. So 60 points. We could become... The first team ever to go back to back to back to back uh, minor premiers. So this is our fourth season, I think. I think so, yeah. So let's have a look at the career history. Not much has really changed there. Let's have a look at the team stats for Marcus Bonson Pally. So this is all about him today. And oh, this episode, career sim. So 284. Disposals. Dis What's this? Disposal efficiency is 179. It's had 42 clangers, which isn't too bad when you think about it. 82 marks, 23 contested marks, and 23 inside 50 marks. So that's decent. We're going to have a look at how many goals he's kicked. He's kicked 12. So that's not too bad. So what we're going to do is hopefully we beat the Maggies and knock them off as a final contender. And we just do that by uh, 40, 50 points. So we are on top of the ladder. We're minor, minor premiers. For season number four straight. So can we beat the Adelaide Crows who smashed us in the grand final? And we just do that. So that's exactly what we needed. So we play in our fourth. We play in our fourth prelim, which is insane. For the next Hawthorne, except for we need to actually win three more in a row to actually make that happen. Anyways, here we go. We are in the grand final. I, I just skipped over that. I didn't even have a look. But we're in the grand final three years out of four. So third time is the charm, they say. And no, fourth time is the charm this time. <laughs> okay, so we lose again. And Levi Casbolt with the Norm Smith. I'm actually curious to see how our teammate went. Marcus Bonzenpelli. He didn't have much, many disposals. He had 11, so he's obviously been tagged. Did he kick a goal at least? Surely he kicked a goal. No. He kicked one behind. He's had 44 fantasy points. So, uh, fourth time is the charm. We've lost three grand finals. Boy, this is interesting now. Oscar Mc <laughs> McNerney. Oh my goodness, he has a Brownlow medalist. Levo Casbolt, mm, I can't really see that happening as a Coleman. Marshall, Utree with the Rising Sun. Tim English is our not Rising Star. What are they called? Um, what are they called? Oh, it was just there. Oh well, anyways, let's move on because I can't remember. Alright, here we go. We are fifth on the ladder now, and if we do win, we could still... Oh, actually, no, we probably couldn't, because 
because all those teams will probably win. But we are still we are fifth on the ladder, and we can still win. If we do win, though, we will be in the top four with our percentage by the looks of it, maybe. I don't know. We shall see. We're playing Carlton, who are six on the ladder, so we better not lose to them. But we probably will. Anyways, let's see. Here we go. And we do win by a very good margin. So we went from 112% to third. So we're playing in Optus Stadium, which is a very tough ass, especially against Frio. But, yeah. Let's have, oh, have a look. There's no, there's no ladder for it. Anyways, actually, no. What we are going to do is we are going to have a look at the team stats. And let's see how the bot went this year. He had, oh boy, we've got a few players injured. And Marcus Bond and Pally, 350 touches. Did he kick any goals? Hayden Crozier kicked 50 goals. That's insane. Marcus Bond and Pally had 11. It's all right. He doesn't have to be a big goal kicker. He just kicks it to the forwards. It's all you need to do. We're playing Freo in Perth. And, yeah, we lose by a healthy margin. I think it's about nearly... Oh, it's about nearly 60-odd points. So we're going to have to do it the hard way, especially against Carlton, who we did smash, but it's a different game at Marvel. Let's see. And we didn't get out in straight sets. So Ed Richards, I told you, is a key player, and he had 28 touches. Zach Williams with about 20-some. So we're playing the Tigers at the MCG. It's going to be a tough ask, but anything's possible, and we make it. We do make it. We make it into our fourth grand final in five years. And we're playing the Giants this time, so we might actually have a chance. So here we go. Is the Bulldogs going to win the grand final? Fourth time's the charm, as they say. And three, two, one, go. Um, <laughs> this has to be a joke. No? Why are teams just beating us? Like, our team was clearly better. Oh, well. All right, here we go. So the Bulldogs are playing Sydney, and we have slipped to sixth place now. So... We can still win, but we got to win comfortably here. So there's no chance we are going to fall outside the top eight. So that's good at least. So let's see. Let's have a look at the stats. So obviously we haven't gone that well this year compared to last year. But still, though, we still make the finals. And Marcus Bontempelli is suspended. He's had 264 disposals. 34 clangers, 159 disposal efficiency or effective. I don't know. But he's had 63 marks. Let's have a look at stoppages. My inside 50s, Bon Pally is 41 and 62 rebounds. So 20, 20 free kicks and 13 against. As a few. Let's have a look at the bounces. Let's have a look at the, as you can see here. So many players injured and suspended. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the goals he's kicked. He has kicked 12 goals and Toby McLean with about 43. So, let's have a look to see. So, we've got four players injured and four players suspended. So. Unfortunately, a fractured hand <laughs> doesn't help. And we've got, I oh know, suspended for charging. So if they do, so he will be back for the finals. So that's good. And the Swannies absolutely demolish us by about 30 some points or 40 points nearly. So here we go. Playing the St. Kilda Saints. Surely. In elimination final, surely, please win. And we get it done, so that's awesome. Bond Pally with two goals and about 19 or so touches, so that's... Here we go. We're playing the Blues if we win. Playing the Suns, 
up at Metricon, and we lose by, I think it was about, yeah, 13 points. So, the hard eight begins. Let's have a look at the team stats. For Marcus Bond and Pally. So he's had 333. So this has been one of his best years. How many goals did he kick? He kicked 11. So it's been about, just kicked a few goals. So let's have a look. So he's got a pretty good win percentage, 207 goals. And the doggies are, they, if they win this, they could finish first on the ladder for the fifth time, I'm pretty sure. And no, they unfortunately don't, but, you know, they still made the top four. So, we're playing Geelong at Marvel Stadium in front of crowds this time. And if we lose to Geelong, Jeremy Cameron, so they've got a, Geelong got a, still got a stacked side even after 2026. All right, so the Doggies and Blues. So hopefully there's no uh, straight sets. And, yep, there will be. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Western Bulldogs are out in straight sets, and they lose by 107 points. So, so the Doggies, do they make the finals? And the answer is no. They finish... From straight sets to now, last on the ladder. So they could actually finish 17th or possibly even uh, like 16th now. So that is massive of the context of the year. So Geelong, wow, <laughs> that is the first time I've seen Geelong make the finals for like, you know, consistently. So. That's awesome. Let's have a look at the team stats. And let's see how the bond went. So he had 285 disposals. And we had Patrick Lipinski with 43 goals. Got We got he Roliffs, Roliffs, Roloffs with... A solid 23-29. And the bot had about 8-5 eight, eight, and 1 goal assist. So let's see how we finish. Do we finish dead last or do we finish? And no, we finish 16th on the ladder. So that's okay. I mean, you know, it would have been better if we won. As Gold Coast, congratulations to the first grand finalists, uh, you know, and it was a hell of a game. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Gold Coast won their first flag. So congratulations to them. Hey! <laughs> you got me as a Brownlow medalist. And yes, that's my name. So that's interesting. I'm, f I'm finally a Brownlow medalist. <laughs> I finally did something. Uh, so here we go. We've got some pretty high scores here. Apart from the Brisbane one, but let's have a look. So we are in season number nine. He's played over 300 games nearly. Yeah, he's played over 300 games. He's like 400 nearly. And so that's pretty good. So let's have a look at the stat leaders. Uh, we're in the wrong one. But let's have a look. So we got five, Peter Wright has 520 disposals. Who does he play for? This guy. Oh, he plays for Adelaide. So, that's awesome. So, now for him, we got Bailey Smith. Oh, no, Bailey Smith has always been here, too. Uh, let's have a look. Marcus bond with 333. And we're playing the elimination final against the Giants, who beat us in the grand final, and yet we're out. So, did they beat us in the grand final? I think they did, yeah. Yeah, they did. And we are out. <laughs> we lose by a healthy 100 and 151 points. So that's obviously not good. And Freo finally win their first flag. Charlie 
Kerno with the Coleman medalist. Yeah, I could I can see that happening in the future. Jamie Jefferson with the rising star. Aaron Norton with our best and Ferris and Rick Hamilton with his second Brownlow. He's already in elite company. So we've got three sides wanting us. And maybe no, nah, we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick it out. We've got three more seasons left before we call it quits. Here we are. We're on the ladder and we have finished seventh at the moment, so only Giants they have a ninety four percent, so we have ninety nine, so we need to win this game and we're playing against Sydney, who are eighth on the ladder, so we really do need a win. We're seventh spot at the moment. So hopefully we get it done at the SCG. And no, we do not. So I think, we, yeah, we miss out on the finals, unfortunately, due to that loss. And Port Adelaide get their flag. So that really does suck. But I think we're about, yeah, we're 10th on the ladder. So only the Bulldogs. So we've got two more seasons left in us. Hopefully. Let's see how they go. So, and we can still make the finals, but we need to win. And we need to win big against St Kilda. So, it's a big possibility. And we lose. That's our season done and dusted again. And we are dead. Oh, no, we're not dead last. We are 17th on the ladder. So, we won't win the spoon this time, but we can still finish. 13th on the ladder, so I mean, that's alright Let's have a look at Marcus Bontepelli's stats He uh, Thimba Gillespie Jones with He's only 29 years of age and he's got 422 It's wow. pretty good And then we got Bontepelli 322, let's have a look at the goals he's kicked, how many goals? So surely he wins um, the brown loan. Let's see. Where did Bont go? The Bont kicked a one goal with seven. So obviously not the best year for him. But he is 36 years of age, just remember. And we lose by a very good margin. As Essendon win another one. So, and Jordan Galushi wins another... Uh, Brownlow medal. Themba wins best and fairest. Scott Phillips for the Tigers. Cam Rayner for there. So that is the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see how, like, what he did in his career, the Bont, because he made four, he made, he made five grand finals. He's won one and lost four. So, unfortunately, but he's played in a lot, of, a lot of games. He's been in 10 finals wins. That's not including 2016, 2017, and 2018, and all that, and 2015, 2014 as well. So, he's kicked 250 career goals, apparently. About 500 matches, if you include what he's done in the past few hundred, few hundred games. Like from 2013 to 2021, that hasn't been included. So, yeah, that's the video. Comment down below what who you want me to do next, career simulation wise, and I will do that. And yeah, make sure uh, if you're new, subscribe. Going to do these. Going to do this like career simulation stuff, and also uh, my own careers. My ugh, my own coach career mode which i am doing so yeah that's my video thanks so much for watching and peace